in this video we are going to start with question 2 and we will start with question 2.1 and without wasting any time let's get down to it so we are told that mrs Ma malungelo intends to purchase a cell phone the service provider offered her prepaid and contract options the attached annex chart a shows the graphs illustrating the cost each the cost of each options okay so um, and we do have a, um, a cell phone picture there um, and I will also add, I will also attach an extra A so that you can be able to see what's happening so without wasting any time let's go ahead and answer question 2.1.1 2.1.1 one. So we are told to identify one element that is missing on the graph in annex chart A. So if you look at the graph, you can see that the graph has no heading. So we can see that the graph has no heading. It's just a graph without a heading. And each and every graph needs to have a, a heading. So we can see that the title of the graph is missing. So we can see title of the graph. is missing okay so now let's move to question 2.1.2 2.1.2 .2. 2 .2. so question 2.1.2 .2 says that which graph will possibly represent the contract option give a valid reason for your for your answer so if we look at graph so i do have um graphs here on on my board but even on the right hand side i have attached the graph so graph a is represented by dots and graph b is represented by by a um, by by a line so our question is that which graph will possibly represent the contract option um, and we are supposed to give a valid reason for that so if we look at graph a we can see that it starts at it starts at 150 and graph b starts at at zero rand so we can easily see that graph a possibly may possibly represent a a contract option because there is a fixed fee that needs to be paid so we can see that if you don't um if you use zero minutes in a month for graph b you will pay nothing but for graph a if you use zero minutes you will still have to pay the 150 meaning that graph a represent the the contract option so we'll say um let us not contradict ourselves oh let's continue using the black marker so we will say graph a because because it has a fixed fee that needs to be paid because it has A fixed fee that needs to be paid that needs to be paid okay so now let's move to question 2.1.3 2.1.3 point 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 <coughs> so question 2.1.3 says that Table 1 below shows the list of equations that can be used to calculate the total for each graph. Use Table 1 and Annex A to match the graph and the correct equation. Okay, so we have the first equation and the second equation. So 
we are going to start with graph A. So with graph A, we can we already know from our graph this that there is a fixed fee of one fifty that needs to be that needs to be paid regardless of whether a person has used ten minutes, five minutes, or no minutes at all. The one fifty has to be paid. So if we look at our first option, we can see that we are given one fifty multiplied by the number of minutes. So we are given 150 multiplied by the number of minutes, meaning that if a person um, uses 5 minutes, we are going to multiply by 5. And our answer will be, so it will be 150 multiplied by 5. Our answer will be 750 for using only 5 minutes. So we can see that this doesn't make sense. A person can't um, use 5 minutes and then have to pay 750 okay so we can see that this option is not is not correct but if we look at our our third option remember with graph a there is a 150 that there is a fixed 150 that needs to be paid meaning that our equation needs to have 150 okay our equation needs to have the 150 okay so if we look at the third option, which says 150 plus 1.60 multiplied by the number of, <coughs> of minutes. This makes sense because we can see that there is the 150, there is the fixed 150, that, that that needs to be paid so this is fixed it needs to be paid regardless and then the cost per minute is how much is 160 so there's 150 and there is the cost per minute depending on the number of minutes that has been utilized or used so um, graph a will match our third equation so this makes sense so now let's move to graph B. So graph B, there's only one option left, which is 250 per minute. So this makes sense as well because there's no fixed, there's no fixed fee in this case. There's no fixed fee, meaning that the cost per minute will be, will be a bit, will be a bit higher. Will be. A bit higher so the cost per minute is is 250 so this is the prepaid option number of minutes so now we have answered question one question 2.3.1 and we'll be moving to question 2.1.4 question 2.1.4 Okay, so question 2.1.4 um, says that if Miss Malungelo makes calls that are less than 100 minutes per month, which option will be more economical for her? By economical, they mean cheaper. If she makes calls that are less than 100 per month, 100 minutes per month, which option will be more cheaper for her between option A and option B? So we can easily calculate that. So we can start with um, with graph. We can start with graph A. And the equation for graph A is, is 150 um, plus 160. And then we can multiply by 100 because they said if she uses um, less than 100 minutes in a month so if we plug this on our calculator so if we plug this on our calculator we'll have 150 plus 160 so it's 160 not 160 160 multiplied by 100 minutes the number of minutes and we can see that it will cost 310 okay so for graph b let's do the same graph b and we know that the equation for graph b is is 250 
multiplied by the number of minutes so we'll just multiply by 100 minutes and if we plug that on our calculator we'll have 250 multiplied by 100 and our answer will be 250 so this is clear that um, between the two options the one that will be economical or cheaper will be graph b will be graph b or option b so we can say graph b or option b option b okay so now we are left with just one question which is question 2.1.5 and we don't have enough space so we can just erase everything we can just erase everything okay So we will answer question 2.1.5. So question 2.1.5 says that explain the term break even according to the given context. So in this context, break even it is when the contract option and the prepaid have the same total cost for the same number of talk time minutes. This means that either options will have the same cost so if you use option option a um, so for using option a you will spend the same cost as using option option b so they are both equal that's what break even means so in short we can just say it it is when the contract option and the prepaid option and the prepaid option have the same total cost so it will cost the same for the same number same number of talk time minutes